and what is going on? You're here with Taya from Team Journey TC. Woo. Okay. My YouTube inspiration man. These are really sticky. Dylan is in trouble. He's fantastic. You should go watch him. It's very funny. It does movie reviews too. Oh, here's your high five for subscribing. Be sure to subscribe. Eat sour pot shit in this video. So, he made me very hungry. So watched him for about like three hours today. And then I wanted sour patches. So, these are very big sour patches. As it says here. And they're very sticky. Because they're new. I guess. And I'm going to go like, buy all the candy from the store. Because there's Corona. And they wouldn't let me go to the store. So, yeah. Anyway. So, today we're talking about a fantastic movie. I'm just kidding. It's up. I'm very annoyed with this movie. But anyway. For some reason. Today. Um, recently, I have been emotionally incapable of watching a full movie. I started when I tried to watch this movie a couple weeks ago, and I could not get through it. I don't know. Something about my fiber was just like, there's some alien lights coming out of my window, and there's green, and in the distance, and they're kind of creeping me out. So that's fun. I'm just gonna... Move away from the alien life. We're just gonna. Okay. There goes aliens this way. So, we're chilling here. Anyway, so I tried to watch this movie. Couldn't do it. Felt emotionally incapable. I tried to watch Toy Story 4 today. I was just too bored to do it. So, I watched an Alex Myers video on what happens in this movie. And after doing that, I was emotionally stable enough to watch the whole movie. So I have not seen it. Only once, though. Um, this is not an interesting of a movie. I'm not watching it twice. Um, the movie, of course, that I'm talking about today is Tall Boys I Loved Before 2. I'm going to start eating this so I can talk to you. But I'm going to keep them next to me. Because I like them. And you can't stop me. Anyway, so. Let's start off with this movie. They're a cute couple. They're sweet. I like them together. Whatever their names are. I don't remember. Noah Santaneo and the girl. Yeah. And then she gets the letter from John Ambrose. It's, spoiler alerts, I guess. Who cares? It's a, a Netflix movie. Okay? On a poor book. Bad book. So, I don't feel that bad about spoiling it for you. And I'm going to spoil it for you. But anyway. So, she receives the letter. And he likes her. She does not end up with Mr. John Ambrose at the end of this movie, which makes no freaking sense because he is actually perfect for her, and Peter, I remembered his name, is a freaking jerk, okay? You know what she discovered? In the first movie, remember how their whole romantic scene was at the ski trip when he finds her? You know what I mean? You know? That was like the whole climax of that movie. Turns out he was waiting for Jen, so why doesn't he go be with Jen, Okay. Their whole relationship was predicated on a lie, and yet she goes back to him. Why? Why? He keeps inviting Jen over, clearly still has a thing for her, and this John guy is completely devoted to... I still forgot the girl's name. He's completely devoted to this girl, and Peter is being a freaking jerk, and she's right about him emotionally having already had all his first with this other girl. And it's strenuous on this relationship, and every time they talk, it is argument after argument, okay? All you do is fight, pretty much. Fight, and then he's next to her, and he's like, oh, No, this is a bad relationship for both of them. And the perfect guy comes along, and she's just like, Nah, nah, I'll dance with him. I'll be nice to him. But no, in my heart, I still love Peter. And she kisses him at the end. And I was like, are you joking me? Why would you do that? Why? It makes no sense. But, I mean, I can't change it. The movie's already out there. Um, the weirdest thing for me, though, too, was I took a whole emotional roller coaster with this. Because originally, I got a spoiler. And she kisses this other guy. 
before I even started this adventure of trying to watch this movie. Then I saw him, her, and the guy being all cute together, and I was like, I don't want to watch their relationship fall apart. And I was sad. I skipped all the way to the end. That's how I got with her. Again, at the end, she goes back and kisses him. Peter. And I was like, okay, maybe I could watch this movie. But by the time I got there, I was more happy with the ending that I was sad about at the beginning. So, this movie had made me feel all different kinds of emotions, and not in a good way. All kinds of bad emotions. Every way it ends is a way that you want to stop watching the movie. If I want to stop watching the movie, that's a bad thing on the movie's part. There we go. Although, I've not been able to get through a movie in the past two weeks. Only TV shows, and even those, I'm only a so so with. Maybe it's because I'm trying too hard. But, I don't know. Our podcast kids are very not good for me. I have already eaten way more than seven pieces, just in this video. I'm going to finish this whole thing. Which is a whole meal, if you eat the whole thing. Which is freaking fantastic. Um... I mean, I've been working out, but I've also been eating, like, twice as much. So, we'll see how it goes by the end of the day. Probably poorly. I've already eaten, like, three pounds. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's fine. Alright. So, yeah. This movie sucked. And that's my opinion. And we can get here great. But here's subscribe. I have more solid patches. If you like the sour patches, I like the sour patches. I'm gonna keep eating my sour patches. I'll see you guys. This is a really bad angle that I filmed this up for me, by the way. I feel like I have like six chins. I'll walk through it now. Anyway, see y'all later.